Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today, I'll be showing you guys my Dior Sato card holder. I'll walk you through a few details about it and then we'll get into some of its pros and its cons. So this is my Dior Sato card holder and I got it in the blue oblique fabric. This also comes in a really pretty burgundy fabric as well. Both retail for 430 US dollars, which is very expensive, but not abnormal for smaller luxury goods. This wallet is so pretty. It has the Dior saddle design and shape here in the front, and then it has that beautiful Dior fabric print all along the top, the front, and the back. The sides and the bottom feature a nice navy blue accordion style leather, which allows it to stretch and just hold more. And then in the front here, it has this beautiful D hanging right over the snap closure. Once you go ahead and open it, you can see this Dior engraved closure here, and then this nice Christian Dior Paris hot stamp right here on the fold. There's three fabric lined pockets in here that are a lot slimmer, but there's also a pretty big main compartment right here in the center. Just to give you guys an idea of how huge this inside compartment is, I have about 30 cards stored in this inside here, and that's not even including anything in these three smaller slots that are also in the inside. There's also a fabric pocket on the back here, so you can store things in that as well. Even with all of these cards in here, the wallet doesn't struggle to close. I don't really have to force it or tug on it to close. It's easy to snap and stay closed and it doesn't open itself. So it still stays pretty secure. Though it holds a lot, this card holder is pretty small. So here it is next to my Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. And as you guys can tell, they're pretty similar, though this one also holds bills and coins. If I am to put them on top of each other, you can see that the Victorine is a little bit longer, but from the side, they're the same width and from the top, they're the same width as well. So the first pro I have is that it can fit way more than the average card holder. Most card holders that I've seen really only have two slots. They have one a little higher up than the second, whereas this card holder has three slots in the inside and just a lot more space for you to put cards in general, whether that be in the inside or in the back. My next pro for this card holder is that it snaps closed to keep your cards secure. So for the average card holder, there really is no closure. So you really have to be careful with how you carry it and how you handle it just so that you don't lose your cards and so nothing slips out. For this card holder, on the other hand, because of this pretty strong snap closure, I really don't have to worry about that. I know stuff that's inside is pretty secure. It makes it easier for me to grab this and go and I can wear it a lot more because I don't have to worry about putting it inside of another bag or handling it very carefully. Another pro of this is going to be its versatility. Because this inside compartment is so large, I can fit way more in here than just cards and it's perfect for throwing it in my bag and putting smaller items in it. So I can fit lip gloss, I can fit AirPods, I can fit hand sanitizer, wipes. Because it has so many slots, it gives me the ability to organize a lot better. So in smaller card holders that only have a few slots, I really don't have much choice in where I put different things. There's really only two or three options. But with this, I can really designate a slot for receipts, a slot for bills, a slot for health cards, a slot for maybe like money cards. I really can change up where I put things and it just makes things a lot more organized for me and easier to find. So my first con is going to be about the fabric. I do worry that the fabric will pill or fray over time just because of how it's made. With fabric wallets, things really can start to look kind of fuzzy over time and you can notice little threads start to become loose or start to hang and that's just because there's so many different places for it to snag or to rub up against things. That friction kind of just pulls the fabric from its place and you'll notice it starts to look a lot more messy than how it looks when you first get it. Even as I look at it right now, I can see a little bit of fabric kind of poking out and that's kind of normal, but that is something that will worsen over time. I don't know how long it'll take. I don't know if that's a year or two years or three, but I know it's kind of inevitable the more I use it that that will start to happen. I do worry that it'll get really dirty over time. Just because of its material, it's easier to attract dirt and it's not as simple as with leather where you can just wipe it down and the problem is solved. With this, you're going to have to kind of rub it to get that dirt out and then you get back into the fraying situation. Overall, I think it's a great piece to have. I think it is expensive, but it is a beautiful small luxury good. 
I love this and I think it's perfect for my bags. I love that I can put so many different things in here and not just cards. And it just works well with a lot of the other containers that I keep in my purse. So this was a great addition to that. It's a beautiful piece that you can pull out, have some pride in, feel confident in, and just really, really love it and keep it for a while. Because it's Dior and it's the signature print, you know it won't go out of style and you'll be able to keep it for a while without it looking too trendy or overdone. I guess the one thing you have to keep in mind when you buy this is that it's not a wallet. It is a card holder. There's no slots for coins. There's not a place for you to unfold your bills. It really is designed to hold cards. Of course, there is a lot of room for you to put other items, but it wasn't really designed for that in mind, I don't think. So you kind of got to give it a little bit of grace. Well, that is all I have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this review. Definitely leave a thumbs up or drop a comment if this is something you're looking to purchase or you've already bought it yourself don't forget to subscribe and definitely stop back by next week i drop a video every week and i would hate for you to miss something new